Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play more Uber Russia in Europa Universalis 4. So I think we're doing pretty well. We're ahead of time in all text, despite our horrible Queen Maria Kara Erdin Erdin Chaktal. We've lost the effects of trading in fur. Uh, okay. Why? Why is that? Um I just loaded the game up. I was hoping that we wouldn't lose that market share. No, we're still at 21.7. We just lost it for no reason. Um, hopefully, it doesn't take away my bonus uh, production and cause me to actually slip below 20%. It might. We're about to lose 33% production on our one base tax provinces and who knows what percentage on the other ones. Some crazy number. In it's incalculable. It's impossible to know. Oh, the game's paused, right, because I opened the ledger. I'm not used to that. I don't think it always did that. Look at that, we have complete dominance of the market share. Hey, we got it back. Good. Okay. So, note to self, never unload the game. Play forever. So, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing really good. I'm, I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, how things are going. Most importantly, No Guy is our buddy again. You know what? We need a real marriage with No Guy. Just so that we're always friends. Forever. Till the end. Stop desiring my lands. I'm serious, dude. You shouldn't have claim. Did you fabricate a claim on me? Oh, I took one of your cores. <laughs> well, it used to be your core. It's mine now. You can't have it back. I guess uh, Golden Horde took it from them and now I took it, so that's fun. You might want to abandon that core, buddy. Because uh, it's mine. No, it's mine now. So what else can I do to like solidify the fact that you are never going to turn against me again? I wonder. Muscovy's declared war on Sweden. Sounds like a great time to declare war on Muscovy. <laughs> oh, that would be so mean. Alright, let's do this. I want to build up my fort level just a little bit more. Oh man, there are 103. Damn. Fort level. Oh, it's beautiful. Look how bright and green it is. Fort level 4. In a two base tax province. Hell yeah. Oh, it's gonna be so hard for them to siege that. Alright, we've maxed out really Yeah, stay stay there. Keep keep working on him. Improve the defenses of Koldschlager. Uh e well, we already have the army tradition. Is a drunken claim, I love that. Uh Kostroma. You have Kostroma? We want Kostroma. What's up, Muscovy? I think I declare war on them now. I think we just do it now. Maybe we should finish our course. There's a chance that Muscovy has course here. Is there? No, they don't. I guess we could we could do it. What's our revolt risk at? Nizhny Novgorod's a little bit upset. But now that we've got an army there, they should be fine. And we've got our Tinail here. Excellent. We can start another Tinail. Let's go with... Uh, where do you think they're going to siege? Probably... Oh, probably down here. It would be a good guess. It's got the most bordering provinces with them. They're probably going to want to take it. We could totally take military tech 16 while they're on tech 15. What would that do for us? We would gain artillery shock and artillery fire. So the artillery shock, not that big of a deal. Well, actually, I guess it is. It, I mean, it makes them... What would that be? 66% stronger in the shock phase. And it nearly doubles their fire value. We don't have very many. It's like Fat Susan, Big Bertha, Tubby Tabitha, that whole bit. Uh, what was the other thing that it changed? We also get combat with a... Uh, the Chamber de Demi Cannon actually will probably have more pips as well. Oh, and it also unlocks the arsenal. Well... I think I might just do that. Sure. Of course, if I didn't do that, I could build more forts. Ah, let's not do it. Let's uh, let's declare war though. We're fabricating a claim on Kostroma. We've got a whole bunch of claims on Muscovy. I want to do this. They're they're currently occupied with somebody else, which is the best part. Uh, we do have. I mean, there are some provinces that have revolt risk, but that one's actually going down. That one's going down. Excellent. Excellent. And we're about to finish our course. Let's let our, let our course finish. No, let's not even do that. Let's just declare war right now. Show superiority. 
Or should we make it a conquest war? See, the conquest thing, if I don't actively go after them, will cost me some war score right away. So I think we just declare... It's okay, no guy, you don't have to join me. Um, I think we do back off a few provinces. And we wait. Although... They might not come over here for a while because they've declared war in Sweden. Maybe I should just siege some of the stuff that I have claims on. Tell you what. We'll go for these. And we'll have backup armies nearby. In Penza. Uh, don't we have two leaders as well? I think I do. Indeed I do. Nice. And do we have more troops over here? Snow guy being occupied by the Ottomans? Yes, they are. Sorry, buddy. I mean, you know, it happens. And you... We still have a truce with, but... I guess we keep this army here just to... Nah. No, that's silly. We should not just keep an army sitting there for that long. You can come on over here and join us. Where can we colonize next? Nowhere. We've run out of things to colonize. I must discover this territory. Well, hopefully it will be revealed to us soon. And we can keep on colonizing, because I know there's a lot more land over there. Okay. Muscovy. You suck. So we got one artillery here. Truce is expired with Kazakh, Oirat, Yarkand. Bunch of those dudes. Okay. So which which uh, cannon's here? It's It's Wobbly Wendy. Nice. And then we got Fat Susan over here. The value cannon. Never underestimate the value of the value cannon. It would take four to get a two bonus, but Wobbly Wendy and Fat Susan are good enough to give a one bonus, which is pretty good. Burgundy will seed. Burgundy's dying. So the drawback to this is that when they actually turn their attention to me, they're going to work on sieging back their own territory before they work on sieging my territory. Which means that we're suffering attrition now. Which isn't really a big deal, because we're not suffering that much. We've got full defensive, so we're pretty good at reducing attrition siege. You know, out of curiosity, um, it's supposed to reduce it by 25%, but you can't have half of a man. So it's reducing it down by 0.3%. Does that mean that every tick, are we going to lose seven men? I can't, I can't say for sure because they're re reinforcing right away, but I'm wondering if it's seven every time or if it's actually keeping track of the half death. The half death. Every other month, an extra man must die. Hey, we've discovered something. Good. I think that, nope, that's not, that's not it. Damn. Damn, Uber Russia is done. We can't grow it anymore. It's grown too much. Where's the other army? Wow, it takes a long time for our army to move around. Hey, there's a Muscovite army right there. Moving into Penza. With a 2-2 leader. Alright, what kind of train is this? Step. 12 on or 22 on 20. Equal tactics, equal technology. They probably have more cannons. Oh yeah, seven more cannons than I do. That's a lot. Well, since it's about battles, let's just retreat both armies. And win this fight. I mean, who cares about the sieges? Goodbye. See you later. Spread of discoveries. Yeah, I'm going to turn those off. I don't really care about that. Alright, so this is still good terrain, yes? Step. Uh, is there a river crossing between here and Kasimov? Penza? No, there's not. Uh, we could be there on the 15th. You are leaving by the 7th. I believe he's going to just force march everywhere. AIs around the world have zero military power because they constantly use forced march all the time. Build up a Tenail and Svedka. Muscovy, are you a little bit confused about which way you should go? Fighting Brandenburg, Sweden, and Uber, Russia? Because you should be. 
Well, um... I think I'm actually going to move around and go up this way. Go for these other three claims. I'd rather have provinces that are adjacent to each other, and I don't really care that much about this one. Autonomy increased, and yet it still has revolt risk. Hmm. You got quite a bit of war exhaustion so far. Would you like to come into my lands and suffer even more attrition? That would be fantastic. Nice. Culture has been converted. Omsk is about to be converted as well. Beluzeru. Suffering a severe winter. Probably not a good time to move in there. Our enemy has uh, fewer troops, fewer infantry than we do. They're actually currently in a battle right now. Uh, they have fewer cavalry. They have... Wow! That's a lot of artillery. How on earth can you afford all of that artillery, Muscovy? Do you make way more money than I do or something? Muscovy. Their name begins with an M. This this list should really be filterable. You should have little buttons up here that say like, um, well, it sh it should be just like, it should be just like this: neighbors, enemies, friends, human players, clear, just like that, and it should be right up here. So you can say neighbors, click, only show your neighbors military. So it'd be so good. Why isn't that in the game? I should work for Paradox because I can come up with these great ideas every ten minutes. It's a great idea. It's a million dollar idea. No, it's not. I'm exaggerating, but still, I'm a little bit hyper. Got an extra Mountain Dew this morning. I probably shouldn't have. I also got barbecue Pringles, and I haven't had those in years. Because what I used to do when I used to sell insurance is I would drive around, and between appointments I would stop at gas stations. I knew every single gas station within, like, 200 miles of my house. And um, I would always stop, and I would get a Mountain Dew, and I would get barbecue Pringles, and I would get sometimes a Snickers ice cream bar. But, like, barbecue Pringles and Mountain Dew, they're, like, the thing. And I haven't had barbecue Pringles in years, literally years. And then just on a, on a whim yesterday, I bought some, and my gosh, it's like a, it's like a flood of memories. I remember everything now. All of the times I've been missing. I love me some barbecue Pringles. They're good. They're good, although they changed the flavor a few years ago, and I really don't approve. They changed it from, like, regular barbecue to this weird mesquite barbecue crap, which is just not the same. It's still good. Like, you gotta enjoy it, because it's barbecue Pringles. I mean, what's, what's not to enjoy? But at the same time... It's not exactly what I had in mind. Ooh, this is a major battle. Let's get it. 21st, 24th. Damn. Killing one, one cavalry would totally be a major battle. Hey, it's an army. Oh, you're gonna move into my land. Yes, please do. Welcome. Welcome to Nizhny Novgorod. <laughs> No, come on, no, do, do, come on, man, get in here. No, I want you, I'm inviting you. Colonize Jugjur. 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 Hey. I will. I will gladly do this. Since you asked me so nicely, game. Please do come into my land. I am welcoming you with open arms. With arms wide open. You have a lot of cavalry, or a lot of artillery, dude. You have one maneuver score, we have four maneuver score, we can avoid the river crossing. You have woods terrain, which is negative one penalty. We've got twice your numbers, if we can catch you, I'll take the fight. If we move with forced march, can we catch you? Ah, we're off by one day. Well, you never know. Ah, see, I was gonna say, you never know, he might, he might stop. No guy just peaced out and I clicked the button before I could even see it. You lost some of your cores, that's unfortunate. August 9th. August 14th. Looks like in order to catch this guy, I'm gonna have to force march myself. So we wait, hopefully he stops, turn on force march, then we go. Can we catch you now? 13th, 14th, god damn it! I think we, we, we wait until he's actually out of this province then, because he's, he's just being a jerk in that province and I can't catch him there. Would you stop forced marching, Muscovy? Eleventh. Eighth. Haha! -ha. We don't even need to force march. We're still faster than you. This is going to be a glorious battle for our glorious nation. They have a lot of artillery. Seven artillery. Um, but we've got more cavalry than they do, and we've got a lot of front line. So let's size this up for a second. Even though, you know, we could take the military tech right now as well. That would give us a 
extra bit of combat width, which uh, may or may not actually make a difference. The artillery fire and shock would be better, even though I wouldn't have time to upgrade the chamber demi cannons. Probably not going to be a big difference, actually. Although, I mean, because we only have three artillery. Three whole artillery? Look at this. We've got Wobbly Wendy, Fat Susan, and Big Bertha all at the same army. Holy crap. All right, there we go. So my cavalry can't flank. My infantry can't flank. My infantry can't flank. My infantry is flanking. See, if it were me, I would have put the cavalry here and actually get them fighting, like, right away. I don't I don't know why they deployed in this stupid fashion, but my my cavalry is not actually cavalrying. That's really silly. I should have sent fewer troops. So that's that's worth knowing. What we should have done is we should have counted up their front line, which we can do right now. We can see that they've got um, 14 regiments in the front line, right? So we should have sent 16 infantry. That would have put them to 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 infantry would have perfectly flanked, and then cavalry. And then in a secondary reinforcement army, more infantry. And that would have forced them to have been in the right deployment order. Or, you know, they could just make the game not stupid and have it automatically deploy cavalry at max flank range and put the infantry in the back row. Because they can't fight! They can't, they can't fight. I don't understand why it did that. But that's, uh, that's worth knowing. So we're fighting much, much worse than we could right now because we have at least two cavalry on both sides should be able to flank. Cavalry can flank by a default of two. So at the very least, we should have one cavalry on each end that's attacking. And then I think, based on our maneuver score, which is currently at plus 25%, uh, 2 times 25 would be 2.5. It's not enough to get an extra bonus. So yeah, but at the very least, we should have one cavalry attacking in every shock phase. Or actually every phase, but they should be doing a lot of damage in the shock phase because they've still got a lot of cavalry shock modifier. Well, boo! Doesn't matter, we got such a large army, and we do have 15% infantry combat ability, which is pretty sick. Hey, it's a major battle. And we'll just retreat back to our own land. Um, excellent reinforcement right here. Uh, you know what? We don't actually need to re retreat. And it is, it's October, so winter hasn't really rolled around. I don't know where he's going to retreat to, but that's our major battle. So now we just go hide. Now we just go siege stuff. But, you know what? Actually... I hate, to spring you this. I hate to spring this on you guys, but I was looking at the schedule, and I, I, okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to wrap this series up. I feel like we've accomplished everything that I wanted to accomplish. We've played with attrition, we've played with um, the, you know, just whatever, whatever, what was the main thing? It was attrition and it was fort defense. We had some fun with it. Um, these things are totally, I'm going to take them in every single custom nation I ever make from now on. They're so good. So, so, so good. Um, and then, of course, infantry combat ability is, is really valuable as well. But here's the thing, like, it's, it's 1600. Um, all that's really left is just world conquest at this point. There's no real challenge left. I mean, we've, we've, we've made no guy our friend. Everything's great. We're buddies again. We, we're the bestest Jew buddies with no guy. And, uh, you know... Just spending another 5 or 10 or 20 videos or whatever it would take to to eat the rest of Muscovy and then click the button, that doesn't, doesn't really seem very engaging to me. What I'd rather do, again, don't don't feel like because I'm ending this series that means that, oh, it's just not going to play EU4 anymore. No, I want to play something even more interesting. I want to do either the uh, the Netherlands campaign or I want to play as the Aztecs or the Inca. Like, I want to try some of the new stuff in El Dorado, you know? There's only so much that I can play at once, and I feel like we've done all of the things that I wanted to do in this campaign, so there we go. Plus, it's not even Iron Man mode, so there's no achievements. There's no, there's no like goal for the series other than play as Uber Russia and have crazy ass attrition, and we did that a couple times, and it was fun. So yeah, all right. Well, hopefully you don't hate me too much. Um, just be aware that um, at the same time slot that these videos have normally been coming out, tomorrow there will be a new series, and just be looking forward to that. So, as always, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the series. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video or the next series soon. See you soon.